Hey there boys, girls, ladies and gents, Echo here, and we are back with episode two of Kingdom. In the last one, we made it through the first two blood moons, and now we have a farm as well, which I had gotten in the last one, but we're starting to get a lot of money from like everyone, so I'm going to start upgrading some of these walls. What? Oh, okay. I guess that's uh, one of the rocks that I can turn into like an archer's post. Oh, God. Yeah, we're starting to have so much money that we don't want to start taking it from people because then it'll, it will overflow. Okay, but we've got both sides have catapults. Uh, we'll buy one more hammer, because we're starting to get a lot of stuff now. We'll upgrade this, and now we need to make sure we are filled up on bows. So, we are on night 11, I, I assume. Uh, yes, night 11. I actually had forgotten for about a half a second there. Okay, so that's going to get turned to stone. So, I'm going to turn both those inner walls into, like, the first stone ones. Just in case they break through that uh, outer one. Actually, before I turn that one to stone, let me make sure that the one on this side is also uh, as tough as we can get it. No, and thank goodness I remembered, because that one is not stone version 2, this is stone version 1. Uh, oh, I forgot, the 11th night, we wouldn't have anything to fight anyways. Where's the second guy? There's supposed to be a second guy at this little thing. Alright. We still aren't expanding to the right too far, because we want to keep this little camp there. Because every single day there will be two people, and we'll just be able to go hire them real quick. So now let me make sure that I've got maxed out bows. And I think I'm going to go out hiring today. Just so that we can get some more people. Also, before a Blood Moon, if I've got like a, a lot of coins to be able to spare, um, I will go out to the... What's it called? Uh, to the little shrines. And depending on what we need, uh, like if it's a Blood Moon, I'll probably go and get the Builder. Because the Builder would mean that our walls will not get damaged as easily. But then if we're going to be attacking the portal, I will go and get the Archer. So now I need to figure out if the Archer... Okay, so the Archer's on our left. Is the Builder further left? Or okay, that's stone. How we got stone walls. So is the portal oh dang it. I guess I hit shift uh too many times too quickly. Um Okay, yeah, there's a the portal. Okay, well, at least we got two more people by running all the way out here. And it's a about noon, I think. I can't hardly see through the clouds. But it is noon, so they should get back before nightfall approaches. Or approaches is by the time they should be back. So, this is the archer. So I'm guessing to the right is the builder. Because uh, it's different every time. For me, it was Archer was to the left. I think. 
I, I don't remember, uh, like the other time that I played it. Uh, the other time I played it, I got to about day 30 before I just said, alright, I've practiced enough. Because I didn't want to completely suck. I know I'm... There's still some stuff I probably don't know about, but... Then again, it would just make it that much harder that I don't know everything, you know? I wonder if you actually beat the game by destroying all the portals, and then once you beat it, uh, a harder difficulty becomes unlocked. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so these uh, towers right here, I guess were already there whenever I upgraded the tower or the castle last time. Alright, we'll get one on each side to make sure that we're not gonna have uneven defense. But these guys will kind of just block the goblins if they try to get in. They won't stand on the outside of the wall. But if the wall gets broken down, they'll just kind of block while the archers are shooting. Same thing they do with the portals. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't tell if that's like a wolf or a dragon. I think those are ears. So, that's what made me think wolf. But I'm not sure. <clears throat> we'll probably wait a little bit before upgrading the archer towers on the inside part of the wall because we don't need them right now, so that's more gold that, you know, we would be spending that we don't have to. So now, we've got this wall that's maxed out. All these guys are tossing money at us. And I think, oh, forgot, hold. All right. Those three trees are going to get chopped down into the forest. Alright, there's one dude, but where's the second? There's supposed to be two of them. Oh, maybe this is him. I don't know, wait, what, how about... Why are two of them walking... They're walking towards my castle, but they weren't mine. They weren't mine because they were wearing just raggedy clothing and walking really slow. What is that? It's the bush. For some reason, when the screen was darker, I assumed it to be a boulder of some kind. But... Uh, this is how we got the stone walls unlocked, so the, to the right, this is, since this is the archer, to the right should be the builder, and we'll use that before Blood Moon, because that's going to really help us out. Ah, okay, so why were two other guys just kind of walking towards us, away from the camp? Oh, yay, archers killed the deer. Okay, apparently I'm still out of stamina and can't sprint. Alright, let's try and get back to... Yeah. Throw all of your money at me! Yeah! Oh god, it's gonna start overflowing here in a second. Uh, quick. Oop, dropped it. Quick, buy this. That way, we're not going to start having coins overflowing, because that has a possibility of them not just dropping onto the ground, they drop into the river. Not all of them, but some of them will. Please, stop throwing your money at me. Keep it for yourself. Buy yourself, like, a nice, uh, something, I don't know. Buy yourself a house or something, I don't know. <laughs> Don't throw all your money at me. I love how I just run by and he's like, Quick, here he comes! Throw him all of your money! 
Okay, so we're maxed out on the amount of bows that we can have at the moment, like in store. And then, as these people come into town that don't have anything yet, though, one of them should pick up the hammer unless that hammer already got taken. Okay, so yeah, the hammer already got taken. One of the knights, uh, which the knights will probably be before the archers. Yeah, the both the shields already got grabbed, so that's good. It kind of sucks that you can't, like, assign them to something. Wow. That was quick. Alright, so this entire area over here is... There's no little camp thing over here. It's just past these trees, I think. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get that guy. Where is the second? Like, I don't know why. Is he, like, hiding behind the tent? No? Okay. Well, that's a bit weird that he's not there. There's supposed to be two of them there every day for me to be able to hire. Because we're going to need a lot of archers to take down the portals. And then I think, according to like what, when I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, when I watched him play it, he was, once he destroyed one of the portals, he was able to use it. He had to build something there, but he was able to use it to teleport back to town. Or to anywhere in the map. He was able to teleport. Uh, using it. And then, I don't know why I'm unable to, or I was unable to do that when I made it to day 30, but I haven't destroyed one yet, so. I've got knights now, though, so that'll be soon that I'm able to. Uh, but I do want to make sure I've got enough archers, because otherwise you're just wasting people. The portal doesn't get, like, damaged, and then two or three attacks will definitely break it. It's all or nothing, pretty much. Have a coin. Wait, why are you walking away? Take my money. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna get a builder out there. Start building up a wall out there. Oh no, okay, so that, I just now remembered my pouch thing was almost full. Builder, where you at? I need you to come here and build this wall so I can start using money for that. Eat some grasses. Okay, so here's the builder. Now I'm going to be able to pour money into making this a stone wall. dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm standing right here because, like, if he's not done and they start, like, swarming, I'll just throw down some coins. But uh, I don't see any so far. Oh, jeez. Because even one of them could mean game over for you. Because all it, all it takes is one of them to knock off your crown and then one of them to take it. Not really two, it's just that the same one can do both things. So all the farmers are just huddled up there because they scaled. Hell, I would be too. I don't blame them. Oh, what? Oh, well, I should have figured. It was wood walls this late in the game. I mean, even though it's like, this is day 13. Oh, this is the Blood Moon. Okay. Well. Come on, dude. I at least want to get this stone wall up. Any day now. Okay, so there's two builders getting on it, so... You know. I do want to make sure that this is stone, though. Because if it's not stone, it's going to get wrecked. 
because la the night before was not a blood moon, and it still got wrecked. Okay, have a coin. Have a coin. Now, I'm not going to try and go all the way out there to get uh, the other thing, because I need to make sure that the... I need to make sure that both of the edge walls, the outer walls, are uh, stone, like stone 2, the taller version. And then, I also need to make sure that we get that, uh, what's it called, um, the shrine. And also, while I run past here, I can get these guys. And these guys, I forgot about this camp. Are you not gonna pick that up? Really? Was it not close enough to you, dude? There you go. Throw money at the problem. Here's the builder. So this will allow us to have tougher buildings for one night, and then I can upgrade it two more times so that it'll last for three nights. I don't think I... Well... No, because the night after Blood Moon... Oh, lag. Lag spike. Come on. Okay, so, the night after a Blood Moon is, it never has any enemies, and it kind of makes sense that it does that, because not only does it give you a break after it just sent you an army, it pretty much, it makes sense because, let's say, you know, realistically, those portals are where the monsters are coming from, because it, it's like a portal was opened from wherever they live. Hell, I'm guessing, because that's evil. Uh, but pretty much, it's like when you send troops into battle, when you send like a bunch of warriors to fight, you don't just have unlimited. You've got however many troops you have, and if you don't have... Oh, wait. Oh, I'll probably have to wait for that, because that means they're coming. Uh, if they're all heading back inside, including the fucking knights. Oh, jeez. Oh, lag. Oh, god. Oh, no! It's lagging really bad, and we might not, uh... That wall will be lucky if it lives to see the next day. They already tore a chunk out of it. Oh no, it's one of those f Oh man. Really? Kill him. If you kill him, it drops the people. Oh jeez. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be freaking enough. Damn it. Okay. So... Oh, d lag, man. What is with that? Cut that crap out. Okay, so we need to make sure that... They not break the catapult yet? Okay, so not many people died. They just kind of fell back behind to that uh, out of the next wall. Pick up the coin. I'm tossing coins at you. Throwing money at you. I need to make sure that gets rebuilt. Uh, take my money. Then next thing is we're going to expand a little bit more. Well, then again, not I don't know. I don't know if we need to keep expanding, because that could be a bad thing. Then again, it means that whenever we send an assault team to the, uh, to the portal, it means that they'll be closer. They'll get there faster, and... It'd be good if they got there before nighttime. Because if they get there daytime or nighttime, they're gonna be fighting monsters. But if it's nighttime, they'll get slaughtered and overrun. It's gonna be insane. Now, this one's gonna be Stone 2. Stone level 2. What is the archer shooting at? I don't understand. Alright, so, you two, join me. 
Uh, I want to make sure that this is stone too and not... Well then again, we don't really need to worry about stone too at the moment. Because this is the night after Bloodman. But it would still be nice if I could get stone too. Come on. Any day now. Alright, so go ahead and start upgrading that. Builder, don't you dare walk away. Your job is not finished. Alright, so... Pretty much... Oh man, they are throwing money at us. We need to go make sure that all of the uh, bows, like the bows, the shop has enough bows to get over one money. Damn it. I'm used to sprinting, like, on and off, and tapping the freaking shift button like that. Alright, so now I'm pretty sure everyone has a bow, which is really what we need. Now, it is the night after Blood Moon, so... No, wait, that was... I'm already losing track of time. No, it is the night after Blood Moon. So we could, uh, come daytime, like first thing in the morning, uh, send an assault team because tonight there's not going to be any fighting. So that would be good. But we do definitely want to get the archers because that makes it to where they are more accurate. I don't think it has anything to do with their damage. I think it's just their accuracy. Because that's what really needs improving is their accuracy. Have you seen, like, have I actually shown their accuracy and how god-awful it is? They miss the, and I understand a bow, you know, would take practice to shoot. If you take someone who has never shot a bow in their life and then give them a bow and say, hit that, just tell them, hit that, you don't even teach them how to use it, they're not going to be accurate. But then again, that's realistic, and this is a game. So, alright, I'm going to pick this up because I need to make sure I do have enough money when I go to use the uh, archery thing. And depending on how much money they throw at me, I'll probably get it for two nights. Alright. So, wait, hang on. This requires... Six? Yeah, six. So, if we have a whole lot of money, then we'll get that for two nights because we need to make sure we have at least six left over. Plus, I think it's five for the archer monument thing. Yeah, so, three, four, five. And then, alright, we'll go back, spend the six to, you know, send out the assault team. If we still have another five that's able to be used, uh, then we'll just go ahead and use it and get an extra day of awesome accuracy because not all of them are going to make it. Most of them, I can guarantee you, will die. And so, with two knights blocking, and then I didn't see how many archers were on that little assault team, but... Let's see. Oh, it's not already nighttime, is it? Oh, don't tell me it's already nighttime. They're gonna have to fight their freaking way through just to get to the portal. The fighting needs to be at the portal. Okay, if they. If I start seeing monsters running, I'm gonna just drop uh, a bunch of coins. I'm just gonna start dropping them. Because I don't need my people dying before the real fight even starts. Yeah, the sun's, uh, I think it's about dusk. 
so the monsters are going to start coming out soon. It's just that I don't know how soon. Like, 30 seconds, a minute, I don't know. Okay, so there's the assault team. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's like four archers. Or no, five. I think. Yeah, there's four in the back and then one up in the front. What I'm gonna probably do is, uh... Stand in front of them. If the monsters... Yeah, they're starting to come, so just drop all my money. And that will make them go back to the portal. At least buying them some time. Even though it was a couple seconds. And now they have spot on accuracy. Which is very good. That's what they need. I just hope they don't have to fight a goddamn ogre. That's gonna be overkill. They're not gonna be able to do that. Please let it be just the goblins that they've already fought. I think that's what it is. Because I, I don't see any more coming. If they have to fight an ogre, they're, they're screwed. That ogre is going to demolish them. And the knights, because they need the knights for the portal. I'm loving this game. I honestly am. It is just... I love strategy games, but, you know, they, they need to be uh, fun, interesting. And this one is very unique. There's not many strategy games at all that are similar to this. Because this is more of like a strategy slash management type of game. Where you have to kind of manage this kingdom at the same time that you're kind of trying to destroy those portals. Yay! We get some money. Alright, so it's a good thing I bought two days on that freaking archers thing because I'm pretty sure it, re it takes away one of the days as soon as the days change regardless of how long you had it so now I'm gonna run through here because I don't want to pick up anymore it'll start spilling out some of it will drop into the hang on. do we have okay so it would give me an option to spend coins, so both sides have catapults. Good. Uh, I guess we can have one builder. An extra one. I don't know how many we've got now, but I'm assuming none have died. Oh, jeez, lag. Oh my god, what is with this lag? Well, that wall's damaged. What the hell? Hey, asshole, you just took two coins. Alright, we are probably at some point going to need to expand, regardless of that little camp. Throw money at the problem. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. If I pay for that little traveling merchant guy, he's just going to give me scythes. Which I don't need at all. Mainly for the fact that we have one farm at the moment, and we have enough money so we don't need another farm. And he's just gonna come back and give us scythes, which we don't need. So I'm gonna have to hold off on buying from that one guy. If we do need scythes though, he's gonna be our guy. We're, we're gonna go to him. Immediately. Why are all you hiding back here, but then everyone else is just kind of standing out there? Also, I want to see... You know, refill the bows. Alright, there we go. So now, we've got a ton of archers. Oh jeez, did they get killed? Are you serious? 
there were a ton of archers at the, uh, there were a ton of archers right outside. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't understand why they would have just died. And, well, I mean, I do understand why they died is because they had, like, five archers, but outside where the knights were, there was, like, ten or more. So I don't understand why the majority of them didn't go. Oh jeez, that wall's gonna come down here any second. Oh, what? No, everyone come back. Oh my god. Is that the entire squad? The assault team or whatever? Jeez. That's ridiculous. Once I beat this game, uh, if, you know, people like me playing it enough, I will try to do just a survive as long as you can kind of thing, because actually, no, I'm not going to buy that. I decided it last second, but um, I will try to do a survive as long as you can kind of series with it, because I assume that every day that you are in this game, uh, it gets tougher. I mean, that would make sense, right? So, try to see how long you can survive. Would be kind of cool, you know? Oh, they did destroy it! Okay, so that would cost five, and then also we need to get a builder all the way out here. But first things first, we need to expand past that one village. Because I think we've got a good amount of people now. Uh, as far as, like, numbers goes. Because we didn't- I don't think we lost anyone, technically. All- there was a big chunk of people that I was able to hire right outside our gate. Or our, you know, outer wall, so... I'm assuming that was the squadron that went- that we sent to go fight. And maybe there was more than five archers, I don't know. It's just that it appeared that way. But I'm actually glad I didn't buy that archer thing, because I had enough to go hire a bunch of people. Awesome. Thank you for killing that deer. I'm going to go hire this guy now. I really hope the other two people that I hired from the left are going to make it back in time. Because if they don't, it's going to suck. How do I repair this? Look, there's no option or anything to do anything with it. Do I just wait till it breaks and then do something with it? Like, what do I do? I am going to definitely expand, though, because I'm assuming the builder has to be the one to actually build the thing for that portal. Uh, because, like, last time I set something up, I like, paid the money so that something could be done with it, but nothing ever got done with it. So, I don't know. Uh, but we are gonna expand now. Um, get one more builder. Since we've got like four people coming in. And also, we've got a ton of people who are about to become an archer, like right now. Yeah, as soon as we expand, we're gonna be uh, getting another farm. Because that little attack squadron thing has cost us a bunch of gold for getting everyone rearmed. But I'm gonna make sure that we are full on bows. That way they'll automatically go and grab one. And then we've both. I think there's actually like two portals on each side, like left and right. So, those two guys are hired. Now, I'm, I don't know whether to wait and see if two more will come spawn or just start chopping down that tree. But tonight is the Blood Moon, so... Crap. Um, damn. 
That's not going to be good. Hang on. How much money do I have? Okay, I had to drop a coin real quick to check my pouch. I'm going to go run really quick and go grab the... Uh, oh. Hire you two. And then... Come on. Alright, so... This builder... Why does it say six now? Or was it just six for the... Uh... Are we able to get this guy? Do we have four? Oh, we only have three. Oh, jeez. There's the portal. Okay. Grab my coins and we out of here. We outie. Because we will die in front of that portal. We can only outrun those guys while we're sprinting and we won't be able to sprint forever. So... Yeah, the scythes are like five, and that's what's used to farm, which is basically just an insane amount of money making, which is, you know, why it costs so much. Okay, so now we need to go get some more money. The little bonus chest that you start out with, like, you know, that gives you money every day, it stops giving you as much, because eventually it's like, we've helped you out enough, you're on your own which I actually like, because it would be too easy if you got the same amount every time. Okay, but now I'm gonna go back over, make sure our archers are ready to go. Yeah, we're out of bows now. And then this guy's about to get one. There we go. So, pretty much, this Blood Moon, hopefully we don't do too bad. But man, it's gonna suck if we, like, get completely destroyed right here. I mean, here's the farm, and then this little dirt mound right here looking thing. We'd have to clear out some more trees, but... That's basically where we'd set up our other wall. And I want to get that wall ready to go uh, before we actually get the farm set up. But so far, it's been like really bad on the left side. Not too terribly bad on the right. Uh, so I'm going to go check the left. Oh, jeez. It's laggy, so I'm guessing that we're having a frickin' war over here. Uh, this is a blood moon. Where they at? Where they at? Uh, lag, so I'm guessing they're approaching. Oh, jeez, it is laggy over here. Are they... Are they not coming? Is this gonna be like the last... Or not the last Blood Moon, but... Blood Moon number two? This... Oh, if it was... Oh, it was that easy. Oh my god. It was that easy. Oh, okay. Keep forgetting I'm out of stamina. And I gotta just kind of walk for a little bit. So, uh, I wonder if I, like, stop to let him eat some grass, his max stamina will raise. I have no idea. We want to make sure that we have a bunch of archers. So now, we are going to get our builder to come out, chop down these trees, and then after I get everything set up, I will start the next, uh, or end this episode, and then get ready so that I can start the next one. But I want to make sure I've got everything ready to go to get that next farm set up. Wait, why am I doing that? I don't need that. Especially because this night, there's not going to be anything. Unless the last night was 
The last night was Blood Moon, and we didn't have anything to worry about, so... Alright, so that Traveling Merchant is going to bring us our scythes uh, for, you know, people to become farmers. Then we're going to be able to get a wall set up here, the farm here, and then we're going to be raking in a lot more money. But also, we're pouring in a lot of money right now to getting bows. So, you know, it's kind of a win-lose situation. We're needing to use our money, but we're, you know, we've got enough for it, so... Not really win-lose, it's more of just kind of like, oh god, don't throw me any more money. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be, you know, every two Blood Moons will be each episode. But, uh, in the next episode we will have, you know, farms and stuff getting built. Uh, another one. So, the, uh, that's what you can expect to see in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been Kingdom Episode 2, and I will see you guys in the next one. Echo out.